Here we go again with another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the top 10 best apps of this week, number 345. Number one, Lumi Live Wallpaper. You can see in the background, you can touch and you can change the colors. If you go into edit, you can select different type of themes, different layout, all that good stuff in there and look at the background already. That looks really cool. You can touch them, they interact. And if you move your screen, they will also bounce around. It's free, great wallpaper, go try it out for yourself. Number two, IO16 Clock Widget. Now this clock widget application is simple. You can see the clock is right there. You can theme it right on the fly, do that. And you see the color changes the background. Same thing, just a quick gesture tap and move on with the next color. Go into the layout, fix the orientation, do the line weight so it's heavier or lighter. Then you get other where you can touch shortcuts change them so you can add a secret touch to it and then it animates the widget so when the time changes it'll animate i just change it to twitter app and if I touch it, it takes me right to my twitter that's not it though you got live wallpaper that way your whole live wallpaper is your clock a few more settings there you can do it even on your watch face number three lumio cam if you've been looking for a dslr type of camera here you got lots of nice gesture looks to it so if you want it to be a little bit darker or brighten it up you also get detailed information on the screen. You can touch on the white balance and it'll switch off. So you can change the colors. Go into burst mode, five seconds, timers. Go to macro, go to touch focus, and then auto focus. And then we got the flash on. Go to flash on always for pictures or flash on for video. Frame your subject right in there. So you get the perfect photo. You got two. Obviously you got your record button, your play button. So if you click on that, it goes all to your pictures. And then you got your shutter button. But it's not done yet. Go into your menu and you can see your camera settings. You can go rear camera. It's definitely a cool looking application here. You're going to like it. Number four, Sign My Folder. This application is super old but very functional still. Now you create folders. So the whole point is to create new folders. And what type of folder is going to be? Contacts, bookmarks, shortcuts combined. It's going to be an app folder. Widget settings. I'm going to do the layout here. And what I like to choose is none. I like it to be invisible. This is the whole point. I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to press save. Now we have the subscribe. We're going to go into add applications. So that's just a quick way to setting yourself up for it. And we got it. Now we're going to go into our widgets. Don't go to the shortcut. Go to the one by one. Drop it. And then you're going to select it. And it is there but not there as you can see. Touch on it. And we get the applications, the widget opening. So that's one way of hiding applications. I'm going to select on it drag it over to this page, drop it down there, and there we go. Remember, press save and OK every single time, and then we go back, and there we go. Our icons are a lot bigger. You can still fix it. You can change every icon. You can rename everything. It's a great little concept here. It's old, but I wanted to bring it back because it's that good still. Number five, material apps. And this application is going to suggest you applications made with material design. This is something for you to go through, especially this is going to suggest new applications. There's a lot of good apps out there that are kind of small, but don't really deserve a big notice because there's something like a calculator and, and a lot of people are, you know, they can find that easily themselves. There's a lot of them out there. It's just such a simple app. I don't really need to review a calculator app. Maybe you want to switch it. Backdrops, I love this application here. Definitely. It's one of my favorite wallpaper apps. And just read through it. And jump right to it you could also share your stuff so it's another way of discovering apps with material design in mind definitely worth your time to discover new apps number six slice now if you're like me and you like buying a lot of stuff and keeping track of it this is the application for that all you simply do is put in your emails from 2010 all the way to now this is my spending that is keeping track of you can tap on here you can see what it's electronics how much i spent every color has its own and you can double click into it and it'll tell you what i'm getting what i'm buying this is all my orders that i've ordered off amazon a lot of stuff that on here that you probably haven't seen because i have a second channel and i'll put it in the description down below you can go down to the knit and gritty add another inbox link your amazon if you have all that stuff that you don't want to see when you're looking through your list you can you know hide them now this will also share with you if you're gonna find recalls or price drops because some stores honor your cash back if the item went on sale number seven T-Mobile Tuesdays I've been a T-Mobile customer for over 12 years 
and they're always shaking the industry up with their cool and weird promotions. And now their newest one is free stuff every Tuesday just for being a T-Mobile customer. So even if you don't have a T-Mobile phone, you can still look through the application. You can get free pizza, Frosties, uh, movies, and it doesn't cost you anything to do it. Right now there's a countdown till see you next Tuesday, pun intended. I'm actually gonna get my Nexus phone here and I'm gonna click into my stuff. You can see what's expired. There's free movies, free rides for Lyft, free small Frosties, free medium two topping pizzas, free Warcraft ticket I could have redeemed. If you've been looking to try to go into T-Mobile, there's even more reasons for you to do that now. Number eight, joystick. If you're a gamer and you want to keep track of new games or people you follow, have a nice little everything in one place. If you don't like using Instagram or Twitter or all those separate applications, you can have them basically all in one application called Joystick. Customize your gaming news. You can pick your console platform and what news you want to look through. There's your genres. And then topics. So you can go YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter. You have news here. You can click on the and you'll be able to read and watch new trailers here. It's so another way of discovering and reading, keeping tabs with your gaming if you're a gamer like that. Number nine, Dango. If you're into emojis like I am, I always have to put emojis on almost on everything. This is kind of talking to me right now, telling me how to work it. We're going to type cool. And type in cool, there's this little floating bubble there. And cool is the gesture there. And we can look for emojis, gifts here that we can send. That's the one we want to pick. And it sent it. And you can see the cool is there. Dango also understands what friends are saying. So this little floating thing is the way for you typing in more emojis and GIFs. The emoji suggestions up there, I can click on that. You can use Dango inside other applications, open app, messaging app, and blah, blah, blah. Disable on certain applications if you don't want it to show up. Dango's not for everybody, but I thought it's pretty cool and if you want to dismiss it. And number 10, Nova Launcher. I finally let go of Google Now Launcher and I went back to Nova Launcher because it really is customizable and you still get the look of a Google Now but there's a lot of more gestures and a lot of people are asking me how do I get my notification panel black instead of the white normal that you see Nova Launcher does it all. Select, select it on there you can see there's the desktop you got a lot of customizations basically for this video it's just telling you getting you ready preparing you if you want to customize your phone like I am I'm gonna make a whole video like here on my Nexus I totally themed out to what I want it to and I'll be showing you exactly how I did it my dock here has gestures if I swipe up it goes to all my contacts swipe up both go to Google Photos Swipe down, go to the settings, double tap, launch Google Now. And everything is done here without root. And if you want badges like notification bubbles there, you can see my YouTube has it. Nova Launcher is probably the best one to use and I will make a dedicated video on that. So be sure to be subscribed and watch out for the video. I'm going to try to work on it maybe this week, but most likely next week. But of course you can try it out for yourself and I will show you exactly how I set it up. And there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week on my LG G5. I've been using the G5 for more than two weeks now, and I have to say that it's performing very well. It is a newer, better spec phone than my Nexus 6P, but I've been enjoying it so far. LG did send me this. I also have a video popping up right here if you want to see my unboxing. And I'm not going to tell you to go buy it. It's all up to you. It's your preference. Just remember to educate yourself and make sure this is the phone you want to get. I hope you enjoy these videos, top 10 Wednesdays for apps and games. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later. Oh yeah, progress on my bonsai tree, look at them. There's three of them growing, 